Good morning and welcome to Monday morning Zoom with Lee Wiley Public Library and our uh, what was used to be our baby story time. We've kind of expanded it to so that it applies to all of the kids out there who are tuning in. And with me today at a social distance are Miss Ann with her mask and Miss Chelsea with her mask. So let's give them a round of applause for doing the right thing this week. So also, um, I've taken off my mask so I can read my books and so that you can understand and hear me. But um, this week our books are about uh, saying thank you. Um, and many of you have done wonderful things by uh, coming by the library to pick up chalk um, and chalking your walks and giving thanks to all of our first responders and people who are on the front lines during this time. But also, um, we want to just uh, encourage everyone to be thankful during this time and to also be kind to one another. So that's the focus of our story time today. So let's get started with our um, Hello Friends song uh, that we, so we can include everybody this morning. Are you ready? Um, we'll do the movements first and then we'll sing it together. It goes, Hello Friends, Hello Friends, Hello, friends, it's time to say hello. Let's do it together. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, good job. All right, let's start with um, one of Mr. John's songs. If you're like me, you probably 
by Karma Wilson, and it's called Bear Says Thanks. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, bored, bored. And he misses his friends. a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looks through his cupboard and the cupboard is bare. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie and the bear says, thanks. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear, hi-ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Mm. Hair hurries in from the cold, rushing wind, and the bear says, thanks. Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Brrr, says Badger as he trumps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says thanks. Then gopher and mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm nuts. Let's pass them around. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den. When in flutters owl and raven and wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. Mm. And the bear says, wait. Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he pops himself down. You have brought me yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, that's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food, you have stories to share. His friends hug him tight, it will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. They lay off their feast on a quilt on the ground. And the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter. And they all say thanks. together during this time, do remember to thank your friends when they stop by and wave at you from the car or, um, you know, you're just the nice things that your family and your friends do for you around the house. So be sure to say thanks. All right, let's do some scarf songs. Are we ready, Zoo the Bees? Yes. All right. Let's do Let's Go Fly a Kite. Ready? One, two, Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Let's go. 
Ludwig wrote beautiful music. A man named Franz was inspired to create his own. Because many years later, people wanted to hear Franz's beautiful music, they formed an orchestra. Because a man had practiced since he was a kid, he was asked to join. Because a woman studied day and night, she too was asked to play. Because many others loved and practiced their instruments, there was enough musicians. Because someone created a poster about Franz's music, tickets were sold. Because the train conductor stopped the train at the grand concert hall, the orchestra conductor arrived. Because the orchestra librarian had copies of the score, the orchestra rehearsed. Because workers checked the lights and the seats and swept the floors, the grand hall was ready. Because the time had come, the ushers opened the doors. Because someone's uncle caught a cold, Someone's aunt had an extra ticket for someone special. Because the usher helped the aunt and her special guest, they found their seats. Because everyone was there to hear beautiful music, it was quiet. Row C, seat 14, sat the girl with the uncle's tickets. She heard the beautiful music written by the man named Franz, and it changed her. The girl was changed. From that moment on, the girl learned everything she could about music because it fed her. Soon she started to write music too because 
Like Hans, the young woman had something to share. Over time, the woman became very good because she worked very hard. One night, her music was discovered because she was also very lucky. Then she was invited to perform her music at the Grand Concert Hall because so many people wanted to hear it. Her compassion, or her composition was dedicated to the uncle in row C, seat 14, because it was her ticket that brought her there. And that night, someone else was changed. That is how it happens. The end. I like that story. It, it reminds us that there's a lot of people in our lives that help us get to where we're going and that we need to thank them um, all the time. So let's um, bring our Zulu beads up for a couple more Mr. John songs. Remember, Mr. John performs uh, live at, I believe he's still at noon. Um, uh, go to Mr. John and Friends Facebook page and you can find out when he's performing his concerts on Mondays uh, around noon. So be sure to check in at maybe 11 Central.
and we're going to have lots of resources on our website. We'll also, with Cinco de Mayo coming up, we will be doing a virtual Cinco de Mayo uh, starting on um, May 4th. So check our website for resources, performances. Uh, check our website. Um, and you can also pick up some resources from the library when you come pick up your uh, curbside service for the books that you've re reserved. So a little bit out of, <laughs> out of breath after that last song, but let's finish with Snake in the Grass.